Hello! Welcome to my weekly Facebook Live. My name is Ruth Norton with Ruth's Stamping Corner and I am so excited that you are joining me today. I have a, it's a really adorable box. I'm going to show you guys everything about it in just a second. I'll give you a sneak peek of it and then I'll show you what's inside it later. But isn't this cute? It is so cute. This belly band, super cute. Um, and then it has a little pull tab to open the box right here, but I'll show you, I'll show you all of that in just a minute. I do have a stack of stuff that I want to tell you guys, some, some news, some classes, all of that. So, um, there's only a week left to subscribe to the February Paper Pumpkin, and that is Bouquet of Hope. Um, it is, you can see a sneak peek of this card here. It is so beautiful. It, that card is just so stunning. Um, you have to subscribe by February 10th, which is next week. So if you want Paper Pumpkin, make sure you subscribe by February 10th next week to get this month's kit. All right. I am giving out free classes for anybody who orders in January, February. When you use the host code and your order is over $50 or more, you're going to get a free class mailed to you in March. There's going to be um, prizes. There's going to be cards and um, videos. It's, it's going to be a really fun class. You're going to get everything either mail to you, you'll get your kit mailed to you, and then you'll get the PDF and the, the videos emailed to your inbox. So um, really fun de and details are in my February news and promotions link, which is in the video description. So you can check out all the, the details on how you can get a free class in March. All right, the Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick are now available. So if you guys want any of these products that, I don't think I have the dies with me. The dies are put away, but the I have the stamp sets right here, the Hey Chick and the Hey Birthday Chick. You can now get these, and they have coordinating dies, and they are so cute. I've been playing with them. They are really cute. So if you love these Chick products, make sure you check them out. Um, they will be available through June, but you know, the sooner you get them, the sooner you can play with them. So they are super cute, and I love them. All right, coming in March, and if you're a demonstrator... You can order these products now, or you can add them to your starter kit. This is the Butterfly Bouquet, and the products are stunning. So there's a bundle. You get the stamp set and dies. There's the bundle. And then there's some DSP and then some specialty paper. Um, the DSP and the specialty paper are only available during the promotion or while supplies last. This bundle will actually be carried over into the new annual catalog coming out later in the spring. So these are just a kind of a sneak peek of products to come. Um, but then again, these are, these two are exclusive. So, um, but if you love these products, you can get these in March or you can join my team this month. Take advantage of that amazing celebration starter kit deal. And you can add these products in your starter kit. So if you're interested in um, getting these products now or in February um, and then earning a discount on all of your other purchases, let me know. I'd love to talk to you about joining my team. Okay. All right. I have a class sign up going on right now. My February card crate features the in bloom bundle. So that is this bundle. This is what my February card crate bundle is focused on the in bloom bundle. And this is the bundle we're actually using today for our project. So we put that aside. I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the cards. They are beautiful cards. So if you want to join February's card crate, all the information is in the video description. You can click that link and um, get all the details on card crate. The sign up for Card Crate is through February 12th, so you have about a week and a half left for that. Okay, guys, these colors, these are our retiring colors. Now, these colors will go away, go away um, when the new catalog comes out. And the new catalog um, is supposed to be released May this year, so it's going to be a month earlier. And these colors will be retiring, so you have Purple Posy, Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock, Rococo Rose, and Terracotta Tile. If these are colors you love, you need to stock up on these products. And there's no better time to stock up on them than during celebration when you can earn free stuff as well. Um, so you want to stock up on your paper, your inks, your markers, all of that stuff. Because once these colors retire, you won't be able to get that stuff. So if you love these colors, if these are some of your go-to colors, you might want to start stocking up on these colors. Okay, you guys ready for the box? It's so cute. So this is what we're making. Isn't that cute? It says, congrats, you're so fancy now, which I just love. It's such a cute little saying. This is, again, from that in bloom stamp set. And the dies, hope you guys can see all that stitch detail in all the dies. They are gorgeous. So let me show you what's in the box, and then we'll get to making it. So the belly band slides right off, and then inside the box, you just lift the little tab. 
and there's a little bottle of wine in there. Isn't that cute? So these are the little, um, I don't know how big these are. These are not that big, like one or two servings. But um, I think they come in a four pack, but they are so cute and they fit inside this little box perfectly. You could even put some tissue paper or something in there if you really wanted to fancy it up. It fits inside the box perfectly and then the little tabs all get tucked in and then you can just slide your belly band right on. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't this be a really cute gift? You could do this for maybe an engagement gift or something. You can even match it for colors. You can do an anniversary gift or somebody maybe just got a big promotion. But isn't that cute? It's so cute. I love it. Now, um, I will say, you guys, this is Tim or trial box number three. I worked for hours on Monday coming up with a really cute box. So I hope you guys really like this one because the first two were pretty failed attempts. So <laughs> this is one I finally settled on and I love it. It's so cute. So, so let's make it. So we're going to start with the box. We put that out of the way. We're going to need our Simply Scored, of course. Now to make the box, you need two pieces of cardstock. Um, I'm using Knight of Navy for mine. So let me grab all my supplies. So my first piece of Knight of Navy is 10 and a quarter by six. And on this piece, we're gonna score it at two inches on all four sides. So I'm gonna score it two inches. I'm gonna rotate it, score it two inches, rotate two, rotate and at two okay so that is this is going to be the base of our box so ten and a quarter by six score two inches on all four sides and i will have all the dimensions in the in my blog post tomorrow and i will try to remember to put them in the video description when i'm done so that's piece number one that's going to be our box now piece number two is the is the flap that that opens that pulls out from the front and this piece is nine by three and a half and on the three and a half inch side, we're going to score at three quarters of an inch on each side. So I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to score the other side at three quarters of an inch. So we have three quarters of an inch on either side. Now on the nine inch side, we are going to score at two and at eight and a quarter. Okay, so that's all the scoring. So no... No weird score lines, nothing funny with this box. You just need two pieces of paper. Okay. Now we're gonna do a little bit of trimming. So let's get out our bone folder and our scissors. And we're gonna start with the bottom of our box. And we are just gonna burnish on all of those score lines. And we're gonna do some trimming. So on the, the short sides, I'm going to cut straight up on that score line on either side and I'm actually just gonna kind of take out that score line so I'm just notching in just a little bit I'm just kind of cutting out the score line because that will help our box go together so let me kind of fold that up so I can get into the score line here okay so we're just gonna take out those score lines and then I'm gonna grab some big scissors so I can do this in in one motion but I'm just gonna cut off the corners so just gonna cut it off you're gonna leave leave it just like that I hope that makes sense so I'm just cutting off that outside triangle just like that okay so now we're gonna flip it over we're gonna do the same thing on this side just gonna kind of cut out that score line a score line sometimes just adds a little bit of bulk in the in your box so I always just like to trim them out There we go. We're just trimming out that score line. And then we'll take our long scissors. You can do this on a paper trimmer too. And it doesn't have to be perfect because these little tabs are going on the inside. They won't be seen. But this just cuts down on the bulk. Okay, so this is what the base of your box should look like. Okay? Now I'm going to use Tombow to assemble it because um, I want to make sure to get in all of the corners of the triangle. And our seal would work really good, and even our tear tape would work really good. But I want to make sure that this isn't going to pop up, that those little um, corners won't pop up. Okay, so you're just going to fold these over just like that. And then this one will fold in just like that as well. Okay. Now I'm going to use some clothespins to hold these in place, just some little mini craft clothespins. 
just to hold those tabs in place just like that. And we're going to do the same exact thing on this side. I just want to make sure that once this is down, it's down and none of those sides are going to be popping up accidentally. So I'm using a little bit of glue going all the way to the tips of those triangles. And then I'm just going to fold these in. And we're just going to let this kind of sit aside to dry. Use some more clothespins. We're going to let this dry while we do the rest of our box. So that is the base of our box. That's where our little wine bottle is going to go. Okay, let's work on, this is our little flap, so let's work on this. So again, we're going to burnish on those score lines. And so you have a two inch side over here and then you have a three quarters of an inch over here. So on the two inch side, you're just going to cut out these sides completely. And I'm actually going to notch in at an angle on this three quarters of an inch side. So I'm just taking out that rectangle. I'm going to do the same on this side. So we have a little two inch tab here. I'm going to notch in and just cut that out. Okay. And then up at the top here, we're going to take out this little square too, but we're also going to just notch in on all of these to take out that, that little square. So this, there we go. That is, this is our little flat part. Okay. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to put, I'm going to use some Stampin' Seal Plus this time. And I'm just going to put a heavy amount of adhesive just on this two inch flap here. Okay. And then we're going to just choose one of our sides. It doesn't matter. And this little flap is just going to go right on the inside here. Those score line, that score line should line up with the end of the box. And that is your box. So this will get these close pins off. So this will just fold right in just like that. Isn't that cute? So cute. Okay, let's get, I only have one wine bottle, so let's take the one out of here so we know what we're doing. So we're going to take that out. We're going to stick this in. Perfect. All right, I'll set that box aside for a minute. All right, and then, so this will just fold right up. Just like that. Cute, right? All right, so let's let me get this box folded up out of the way now. Just so we have a little bit more room on our desk. Okay, put all my trash out of the way, my scissors out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to make the belly band that goes around it. So for that, I have a piece of DSP, and this is our Paper Blooms DSP. This is a celebration DSP. Let me grab my package of it. I have about three open packages in here, but you can see how amazing these patterns are. This is probably my favorite um, paper in the celebration catalog. I just love, love this paper. Um, so the DSP for our box is cut nine by five and we're just going to wrap it around and I'm going to flip it over and start at the back and I'm going to just kind of, we're just going to fold it around. We're not going to do any scoring. I'm just going to kind of line it up about a quarter inch, eighth of an inch from the edge and I'm just going to kind of press around as I go. The front is a little bit delicate because that lid will kind of get pushed in, but you just want to carefully kind of crease it as you go around. Once you kind of get creases where, where they're going to go, we can go with, in with our bone folder and just straighten them out. So there's, that's where the crease is. So I'm just going to use my bone folder, just make sure it's straight and top to bottom. And we're just going to crease it and just make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, go through. I like to just wrap my belly bands this way because if you score them, sometimes they're a little bit too tight and then they don't slide on and off as easily. Okay, so let's give our box, let's get our lid back on. There we go. So let's just give this a little test. So our belly band will wrap around just like this and slide on and off. So that is perfect. So we're going to add a little bit of adhesive back here. Let's move my box out of the way. So I'm actually going to put some Stampin' Seal Plus on this tab. So this is that longer tab. Okay, we're going to put our box upside down because I want my seam in the back. We're not going to cover this up, so I want to make sure that the seam is all the way in the back. Just 
make sure that it's nice and straight just like that and there you go there's the belly band isn't it cute so it'll slide on and off we do have to do one more thing to our box before we decorate the belly band this is our, our lid so I want to where's my ribbon I wanted to add a little pull tab so I'm gonna use this the ribbon this is our petal pink organdy striped ribbon I just have like two inches here and I'm gonna grab my stapler and take my wine out real quick and I'm just gonna fold it in half and on this little tab so I'm gonna put the the rough ends facing in this is that three quarters of an inch tab right here I'm just gonna staple that on just one on each side just like that and that will that will give us a nice little pull tab so it's easier to open and close our box okay all right so that is the stapler out of the way so we'll put our belly band back on and there we go so just slide that up a little bit there we go perfect all right so let's do our decorations so this is this is what we're going for. This is our cute decorations. Like I said, we're using that In Bloom bundle, which I'm featuring in my card crate this month. So if you want to get it, you can check out all the details on card crate. And I've already done all of the pre die cutting, pre embossing, all of it. So for our um, little label piece, I have a piece, the Label Me Lovely Punch, which I've punched from our Cocoa Rose. Remember, that's one of our retiring colors. And then from the Layering Circles dies, this is a great die set. If you don't have the Layering Circles, make sure this is in your your stash it's a good staple to have I have a scallop night of navy and then I have a one of the smaller circles from petal pink that I have also embossed with the ornate floral embossing folder so lots of beautiful detail on that okay these are gonna get stuck together I'm just gonna use my stamp and seal for these all three of these are gonna get layered up and I just love that little scallop right outside of that that petal pink and then this will just go right onto our label me lovely punch there we go isn't that cute all right a couple more things we're going to do some stamping and then we're going to assemble all of our flowers so from that stamp set from the in bloom stamp set i'm going to use rococo rose ink i'm going to use that congrats you're so fancy now and i'm just going to stamp that oh let's try that again i should be using my foam mat there we go. Congrats, you're so fancy now. And we're just going to trim that out just a little bit. So I'm going to grab my, my cutter, trim that down, and just trim that right up to the words right there. All right. Now, you could use your banner punch. I forgot to grab mine, so I'm just going to use my scissors and just make a little flagged in here. You could also use your tailor tag punch. That would also work, or you can just use your scissors. That's how we used to do it before we had all these fancy punches that did it for us. So there you go. Now for all of our flowers, I've already die cut them from those pierced blooms dies. I didn't want to lose them, so I had to put them in that little cup. So I have just a couple of leaves. I love these dies. So we're gonna put some of these flowers together. So I have some Rococo Rose flowers, some Night of Navy flowers, some Mary Merlot flowers, and a Petal Pink flower. So in the center of my Petal Pink flower, I'm going to do a Mary Merlot center. And then I'm going to stack these Rococo Rose flowers up and just kind of stagger them. Just kind of make it a fuller looking flower. And then we'll put the center. I'm going to grab my taker pick tool. These are kind of small pieces. So the taker pick tool is perfect for that. Okay. So that is all of our flower pieces. So let's get to assembling our little piece here. So I'm going to start with my greeting. That's going to, I'm just doing some dimensionals in the middle and that's going to go right onto our little label here that we've made. And I'm also going to use some dimensionals for my Rococo Rose flower and my Petal Pink flower. So I'm just trimming off some of the edge pieces of those. I'll stick one there. This will go right above that, kind of in the center. On our Petal Pink one, it will go right to the left of that one. Of course, you can arrange your flowers anyway. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. 
Now for the rest of the flowers, I'm just going to use my um, Tombow adhesive, or you could use um, glue dots. I'm just going to stick my leaves down. I'm going to stick one leaf here. The Pierce Blooms dies, I love, love, love. They come with four different shape leaves, so you can do all of the leaves the same, or you can choose a couple of different leaves. You know, leaves are not the same in nature. They're all different. So I'm going to stick the second leaf right there. And we're just going to kind of go around and fill in with the other flowers. So I'm going to do a couple of dots of glue for my Night of Navy ones. I'm going to stick that one up here. And this one down here. And then for my Mary Merlot ones, we're just going to kind of go around and add those wherever we need to kind of fill in. I'll put one down here too. Okay, so just some dots of glue again. You can use glue dots if you don't like liquid glue. I know some people have a kind of a love-hate relationship with liquid glue, and that's okay. Glue dots work just fine. Just stick this up here, and this one down here. And I love Mary Merlot paired with Rococo Rose. I think those are such a fun color combination. So if you're stocking up on Rococo Rose, you might want to get some Mary Merlot too. All right, now to finish all of our little flowers, I have some pearls here. I'm going to grab my Taker Pick tool again. The bigger pearls I'm going to do in the Night of Navy flowers. Stick those down. And then I have some smaller pearls here, which will go on the, the Mary Merlot ones. Okay. You're gonna give somebody a bottle of wine. The tag you put on it better be pretty fancy too. So there we go, there is our fancy little tag. You have one more little finishing touch and that is our bow. And I've tied this, this is with our Knight of Navy ribbon from our Playing With Patterns ribbon pack. You get three different ribbons in that ribbon pack and the Knight of Navy is one of them. It is so, so nice. I, I love the Knight of Navy ribbon. It's, um, it's real thin and light. So it doesn't add a lot of bulk and that's just going to go down here a nice big fluffy bow all right we're going to stick this on of course to our our box with some dimensionals now to make sure it doesn't hang off i'm actually just going to put the dimensionals right onto the to the front of the box i'm just using my ends here my strips and this will go right on there with all that that beautiful paper that coordinates with it isn't that gorgeous so congrats, you're so fancy now. And then inside is that bottle of wine. Isn't that cute? I think they even sell little um, champagne bottles in this size too. So you can even get um, champagne too if you really wanna, if you really wanna be fancy and celebrate. But isn't that such a cute box? So this is the one we made today. And then I will pull out my my other sample one, which doesn't have any wine in it now. I'm gonna have to go buy some more wine fill up all my boxes now but there you go isn't that so cute I just love this box I think that it's pretty unique I think that wine is a pretty unique little gift we don't always see that but for a special occasion this would be a really fun gift all right guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comments I will make sure to go back and answer them um, if you need to shop for any supplies please make sure to use my host code Remember that this is the last month of celebration, and if you want to earn that free class in March, you do need to use the host code when you place your order. Otherwise, I think that is it. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love it if you liked and subscribed to my channel. If you're on Facebook, please share this with your friends. And I will see you guys on Saturday in my VIP group. I have another Facebook Live Saturday. And... Um, we are doing two celebration products. We're using the Corner Bouquet stamp set and the Oso oh Ombre DSP. So it's going to be fantastic. So make sure you join my VIP group and see so if you can catch that. All right, guys, I will see you on Saturday. Bye.